The Hope Diamond is infamous for its curse. No one really knows where the story of the Hope Diamond's legendary curse began. Some say it started with a theft. The alleged culprit was a French explorer and diamond merchant named Jean-Baptiste Tavernier. Tavernier had heard tales of a hidden temple lost somewhere in India, and he was determined to find it. People say that Tavernier found his lost temple, and inside he discovered a statue with enormous and beautiful blue diamonds for eyes. Tavernier couldn't help himself. He just had to have them. Hello everyone, I'm your Gibbs, and we're going to be playing Hidden Expedition, Smithsonian Hope Diamond. Now, what I found kind of fascinating about this game right off the get-go is when I hit more games, and I hit Hidden Expedition, of course, Epics, they're great, by the way. Uh, this is the sixth in the series, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I, I assume that Big Fifth Studios did these other ones, and then they've asked uh, Epics to go ahead and do this one. Which seems to be another thing that Big Fish Studios is doing a lot lately, getting uh, third-party developers to do their uh, games. Now, of course, you know Epix. Uh, I have recorded, uh, let's see, what have I recorded? Final Cut 1 and 2, Off the Record. Uh, I haven't done any of the Myths of the World, but I know Warfire has done these as well as the Arminthian Voyage. But uh, they are a great developer. Ooh, that's right, Sea of Lies as well. So anyways, uh, Hidden Expedition, Epix, interesting combination. We're going to go ahead and get into this. This is the Collector's Edition, so we're going to have lots of game ahead of us. So we better get started. So we have difficulty settings here. We've got uh, Explorer, Expedition Guide, Journey Master. Okay, so we're going to go ahead with Explorer. I'm so glad they didn't say casual or newbie or something. <laughs> so I'm already loving the look of this screen just by itself. Southeast Asia. Burma. So this must take place a long time ago. Because I don't think Burma exists anymore. Where are the missing shards? Tell me where they're hidden. <laughs> you better tell me. Or I'll feed your friend here to baby. Wait, who's baby? That's baby? Paul, your father's not doing well, and he's asking for you. Leave them, for now. Don't get up. I can let myself out. Oh, that's right. You can't get up. You're tied to the chair. <laughs> okay, so I'm already getting an Indiana Jones kind of Tomb Raider kind of vibe already, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip the interactive help just for this particular situation here. Yeah, it looks like we've got probably some ancient artifacts here that are probably black market, heading towards the black market. If we look at our interface here, it looks like we've got our sort of strategy guide is probably there, our menu, our uh, inventory bar, collect 049. I don't know what that's about. It does look like the Smithsonian symbol, so maybe that's something. And then of course the hint. Hey, your hands are free. They must not see you as a threat. They've, they've locked the door from the outside, but I saw one of them leave a hairpin on the table. Maybe you could use your mad locksmith skills to get the door open. I can certainly try. Oh, I think I'm dehydrated. I need water. This guy needs everything. <laughs> well, not everything. Alright, so let's look at what we got here. We got little gears. Looks like we got an eyeball. And I'm pretty sure that that's going to be towards our collection here. Ooh, look. You found a Smithsonian Institution symbol. So we got to get 49 of them. Wow. So I'm going to 
make a wild guess that they're going to be one in each scene. So let's have a look here. Marcel Rubino and Sons, antiquities dealer. Things to do. Ex extort prisoner. Talk to dad. Bribe customs official. Steal national treasures from their rightful owners and sell to the highest bidder. Feed baby. <laughs> Who the heck is baby? Ah. I'm a little worried about who Baby is. These crooks steal national treasures. This stuff should be in a museum. Oh. Do I really want to do that? I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Let's see if we can do this. And we're free. What's wrong with his hands there? I better find some water. Okay. Your father's getting worse, Paul. We've got to get those shards. I hope the legend's true. Those shards better heal your father. It's the only reason I've agreed to all this madness. You think I want to be a crook? I'm only doing this for the old man. But don't get me wrong. I'm looking forward to a life of luxury. Just don't lose sight of the goal here. Your father's life depends on you. Okay, so a crook that's still a crook, I guess. I don't know, that's kind of weird. So there we go, another Smithsonian symbol. Baby, I... Should I... Oh! Oh, <laughs> baby is not what I was expecting. That is for sure. I recognize this from a museum. These guys have very, very expensive taste, I must say. Hello, oh, key. Trunk key four. Wow, the muffled voices is kind of interesting. I'm just going to go here and uh, tweak some, something here. I don't know if it's the sound effects that we need to... Voice volume test. Voice volume test? <laughs> okay, let's see if we can uh, go in here. There, the train's a little quieter. Oh, looks like we have to feed baby. Yeah, I don't want to keep my hands anywhere near that. Maybe baby's on a diet and hit the fridge handle to avoid temptation. Aha! Grab that while we're here. And it's a bottle of... Oh, a full bottle of water. We're gonna have to... Yeah, I kinda do. I kinda do hate the cork in uh, games like this, because that means I have to find a corkscrew. So, what else do we have here? Uh... They've got more stolen treasures in here. Yeah, they're kind of bursting at the seams, aren't they? Ooh. Trunky, two out of four. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and lock the inventory for now. That's just the way I like to play. I'm not sure how you like to play, but... Uh, I guess we'll go outside. I don't know. Let's leave this as a last resort. Okay, never not mind. I don't think I can give him the water. So I'm going to need a corkscrew. Which makes me think that it's going to be in that kitchen area. Because I don't see it in here. Okay. I don't see a map yet, but maybe that's to come. Maybe once we escape. I don't know if he's guessing. So where is our corkscrew that we're looking for? I don't think I can put two in, can I? No, I need to have all four. So, where is the corkscrew? Oh. Steak. It's a Bengal tiger! And that's not what I wanted. I wanted a corkscrew. <laughs> oh, game, you're mean. Totally, totally mean. I was hoping for a corkscrew. So... Still not seeing it here. Good, they're distracted! Good! Wait, can I actually do anything with baby now, or is it done? It's an animal cage, so these people are poachers as well. Yeah, that feels kind of wrong to me. Can you do anything? Are you gonna, like, be helpful at all? Ooh. Looks like, uh, keys back there. 
Item, ancient statue. Found. Don't ask. Where are you? Sky's the limit. Yeah, they are organized, aren't they? Okay, maybe that chest has a corkscrew in it. Choo-choo train. Yeah, there's my corkscrew. Hexagon piece. Hmm, interesting. Alright, let's go give the gentleman his water. His sparkling water. Pop goes the weasel. Hello there. Would you like some water? Thanks. You know the saying, nothing like a bottle of cold water on a smuggler's train. Now try to unlock this weird lock. Okay, here we go. It's a puzzle! Swap the hexagons to correct the image. Touch two hexagons to swap them. Well, at least it's not rotating. I can live with the lack of rotation. Uh, I bet you that goes there. And then, yellow's gotta go there. That's actually pretty good like that. Beautiful! Completed the puzzle in under one minute. Yeah! We chose well when we recruited you. I knew you wouldn't tell him where the shards are. No matter how er, persuasive he became. The Rabado family is dangerous. They do anything to get those diamond shards. We have no choice. We'll have to jump out the window. What's going on out here? Uh-oh. Caught red-handed. Don't worry about me. Jump! But, but... Okay. I guess I'm jumping. I like jumping from trains. Three weeks earlier. Oh, that's kind of cool. This is it. The world-famous Smithsonian Castle. Here it is. The Smithsonian Castle. That'll be 475, please. Hmm. That wasn't a very long trip then. Ooh. A map. I'll take that. So we gotta find some cash laying around here, do we? How am I driving? <laughs> I love the phone number. 1 800 777 fear. That's pretty funny. Is this five? Five dollar bill. Here's your change. Five dollar foot long. Come on, I've got a pickup here any minute. Uh, I want to make sure. Uh, who is this fella? Somebody important? I apologize if I don't know who you are. I assume you're somebody important. Come on, I've got a pickup here any minute. Oh, you want me to get out? Okay. Yes, th that's correct. Antwerp, Belgium. Yep, I'm on the next flight to meet up and get a closer look. Okay, I gotta go. There's my cab. I've actually been to Antwerp, Belgium. Yeah, I went there for a business trip. I even got some Belgium chocolates. They were really good. Okay, bye taxi. This is where I wish the inventory bar wasn't here. So we can have a good look at the scene. So there we go, we'll get that. Who's this gentleman right here? Hello. You go over here. Yeah, I've got something for you. But only if you can solve this riddle. What goes around the world, but stays in the corner? Um... Corner? No. Ooh. Yeah, I could never reject an invitation like this either. I bet you it's the stamp he wants, I'm gonna guess. They're collectible, are they? Your successful trips from the Everhurst to the Bermuda Triangle have caught our eye. Come to the Smithsonian Castle and follow the clues. H-E-L-P needs your help. That's an old stamp, three cents, my goodness. Pretty sure it's a stamp that I need to give him. Ooh, hello. Bobbleheads. Hmm. Maybe I could gather this water. I do think the water looks fantastic. Doesn't that look like super realistic? Almost like they recorded water moving. Wow. 
What do we have here? That's Joseph Henry, the leading physicist of his time. He was also the first secretary of the Smithsonian Institution. Hey, I've done my research. Hey, I just realized that this game is sneaking all sorts of learning here, which is right up my alley. I love it. I like sneaky learning. Don't you love sneaky learning? I mean, it doesn't feel like you're learning. That's the best kind of learning. Uh, dry sponge probably could gather some water that way. Another quota. Farewell to keys. Hello to cards. So I'm not sure if the map's going to tell me if I've collected uh, uh, current position. So can I actually fast travel there? Yeah, I can. Okay, that's fine. I'm just figuring that out. Sponge maybe will help us get the stamp. There we go. Dab that up. Pretty sure that's what he wants. That's right. A postage stamp stays right there in the corner as it goes around the world. Nicely done. I'd love to sit here and share riddles all day, but I'm just a messenger. Here's a package for you. Take it, and good luck to you. Thank you. Ooh, find a way to get into the museum. Something to help you in your future expeditions. Wow, look at this. You have successfully solved the first riddle. But that's the beginning of your test. Find clues inside the Masonian castle. Hope to see you at your best, Dr. Blue. Aw, oh, cool. The help box. <laughs> I got myself a help box. Ooh. This is nifty. What does this do? For the increase in diffusion of knowledge. What the heck's going on here? Oh, achievements! So cool! I like my help box. Fat cards! Oh. Is that what that's supposed to mean? Oh, I don't have any yet. Okay. Okay, well, we're gonna take a break here, and we'll see you in the next episode of Hidden Expedition. Like I said, I think this was the sixth one. I think that's what it was. So that's pretty awesome. And we will see you very soon.